Look at that. There we go. <laughs> that took a minute to uh, get the timing right. So I accidentally used two potions there when I was trying to just sick Torgol, but that's fine. All right, so we gotta head over this way. at it's up there all righty what's over here an open field look at that there's some enemies we can fight my favorite and a minotaur hello daddy have some fun <laughs> damage there for no reason. Remember to use the stun animations in order to charge things a little bit better. Because I'm doing a little bit poorly on that front, uh, but I can absolutely like maximize my damage output that way. I can't go over there. Not too worried about that. Just. Making sure we picked pretty much everything up, which it looks like we kinda did. Stay down. Sick of toggle. Get 
Jill's handling that just fine. She'll be all right. She's got nothing to worry about. However, this other Minotaur. Ooh, a chest. Oh, I pressed the button, but it was too late. I'm gonna blame that on it being 30 frames per second. Holy So we still did some pretty good damage there. <laughs> Dang, uh, that was intense. All right, let's uh, let's see what we can do here. All right, got that. What's this? Just stuff. Can we go over there? We cannot. Okay, we can't fight that dragon thingy. No worries. We'll just have to go talk to Bryce now. Good job. We cleared out the little area. Good for us. And it's right along the way. The broken hilt. Wonder how long that bait will last. Are you Bryce? What's it to you, bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. <laughs> You'd have me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Frederick! You oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks to your master. Alrighty. Yeah, well, I guess it gave us some gill and some more worite, which is always nice, useful in crafting. And we can just move forward. Look, the windmills. That must be Eastfall. Nice. Not bad. It's over. You know what to do, boy. Stay down. Get up. Alrighty. Gives us some hide, that's useful to have. 
Hmm. It's kind of it kind of feels bad to just be like murdering the random enemies. I coming here with but Murdoch when I was young. This area seems a very different place back then. That's cute. A little black mage scarecrow. Look at that. That's nice. I like all the little homages to Final Fantasy's like past in this game. It does a really good job of like solidifying the aesthetic and tying it back to the old series. Ah, chest. More bloody hides. That's eh, alright. Use that. Really pretty. Just like a nice little bot. Very sweet. Look at that. Look at that nice little, this beautiful land. East Pool, Imperial Province of Rosaria. Quiet, isn't it? Yes. You, you're Clive Rossfield. It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Hannah. She looks very young. Oh, I knew it was you. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. The Lord Marquis and Jill too. It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> it's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. Not a bad idea. Hopefully she just she doesn't double cross us. Kind of a big house We've for a widower. The or widow. Ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes, but oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. It uh, wasn't easy, but we survived and... And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. <laughs> Do you think you will stay here in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing. Does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians, by order of the Duchess. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. Oh. You haven't heard, then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. I... I'm sorry. 
Clive. My poor child, you look pale. All this traveling must have taken its toll. I insist you rest. We can talk later. Hmm. Yeah, I guess he did technically kill him. I just kind of assumed he knew that, but I guess not. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. New armor, maybe? The pillow's right there for a reason, dude. Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years. Without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. <laughs> when I fought, Hundreds died. There were so many bodies. So many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. two of the most powerful people in the world right now. Do you remember that night on the balcony? When we looked up at the moon? I said a prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered. You came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. Wow, that's good facial animation. Holy smokes. Get some rest. Right. Slight lip quivering like that. Dude, use the good pillows. Clive. <laughs> that's what the top of the bed rolls for. What are you doing, you dingus? Sleep well. That was touching. Oh, look, it's Torgal. Thank you, Lady Anna. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. That's a bad thing. Because we're trying to, you come to keep a low profile. <laughs> oh, before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well, I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. I mean, she's not wrong. They suit you well. 
so much flashier. I like it less. <laughs> thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well, my lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. Alright, we got a new weapon too. It's way better than my last weapon. Oh, no, it's not. Just yeah, five points better. Okay. Uh, Invictus. One of a set of seven swords said to have been forged in the flames of Mount Tristanus, Invictus has been passed down through the generations for use by the Archduke's family and his closest shields. Archduke Elwyn presented Invictus to Rodney Murdoch on the day he was promoted to Lord Commander of the Ducal Army. So this was technically Rodney's sword, but it was owned by... Uh, take us on the way to Phoenix Gate. Let's go. It was owned by uh, Clive's dad. Hannah Murdoch, wife of Rodney Murdoch, Lord Commander of the Rosarian Army. Since her marriage, she has resided in the Murdoch Manor in Eastpool, remaining there even after her husband's death at Phoenix Gate. She gladly welcomes Clive and Jill into her home, going so far as to uh, gift Clive a set of clothes that once belonged to his father, a reminder of happier times that she would rather have lived on than moldered in a closet. Eastpool, a hamlet located in the eastern part of the Imperial Province of Rosaria. It was once surrounded by fertile farmland, but the southward creep of the blight eventually drove out most of the inhabitants. Phoenix Gate. Uh, gate itself was buried beneath piles of soot-stained rubble with it Rosaria's pride, falling only, uh, failing as the duchy did to the empire not long afterward. And Clive, she presents Clive with a set of clothes that once belonged to his father. I fear that the old road to Phoenix Gate was lost to the blight many years ago. Have care out there, both of you. All right, we'll do our best. So interesting. We got we got new equipment, slightly better than our last equipment. Uh, let's go read these. Mattia is sometimes called the Custrel, as legend has it that the bright red star serves as the moon's attendant, carrying her gear and equipping her armor in times of battle. This belt was part of a set owned by Archduke Elwyn and kept in Eastpool for when he and his family would summer there. At Neem Bonds. It is a long standing Rosarian tradition for the Archduke to bestow a gift to scions of the ducal line upon their coming of age. These bracers, dyed in the red of the Star Media, were what Elwyn's father chose for him and formed a part of a set of clothes kept in Eastpool for when he and his family would summer there. Neat. Uh. Alright. I'm gonna get rid of Rook's Gambit. I don't think it's very good. Do Wicked Wheel instead. That's better. I want to check around. So, I want to really quickly travel back there. Because I want to do these side quests. Let's really quickly just swoop these up and do them. So much oh, that's for all the way. There we go. Okay, so here's one of them. I have to find him. Can't talk now. I. Oh, you're Clive, aren't you? Martha told me all about you. Word is you're a devil with that blade. You look like you're in a hurry. Where are you going? Not far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. It might cost a man his life. Sounds serious. What happened? Not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? And now, one of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. Poor Sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. But they'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here, if you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? 
Of course. We bearers have to look out for each other. Thank you, Clive. With your help, we might catch up with him yet. His name's Norris. We need to find him and get him to Martha before the Imperials sniff him out. You found him yet? You won't catch a bastard standing around clucking like old ends. That fucking snake played me false, acted like he was one of us, and the whole time he was one of them. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. We were just leaving. Look, this one's here to help. I was just filling him in. Ha! Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Huh. Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. Come on now, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. You want something done right? You don't send a bearer. I don't understand. Clive, hmm. This might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Someone said they saw Norris heading for the Fallen Gate. Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. We have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. So I think, uh, so one of the things that's always weird to me is when in fantasy settings, this like takes people with hands. magical ability are... To spot. What did he mean about being played false, I wonder? And it's like, oh, these like magical people are enslaved. But it's like, they're literally magic. They just need to fight back. <laughs> like, they'll do fine. Like, Clive is a bearer. He's incredibly dangerous. <laughs> like... Here, you're that bearer who works for Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? Curse my luck. I dropped my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp like an utter fool. Now, I've not got your knack, see? And I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. But it's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. Sure, bud. I can't promise anything. Well, just promise you'll look. Ah, there may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed it. Claimed it. <laughs> All right, eaten it, but 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 only might have you understand. There were a lot of bog crabs down there. Nasty buggers, them. <sighs> Sounds like I need to break a few shells. I'm done with oh, that. Don't worry, there, there there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say. The ladders right over there. <laughs> okay, we'll go do that in a second. There we go. So we just gotta run. Wish I could move more quickly, but that's fine. Not everything is for free, I guess. We're not alone. Never heard of crabs eating crystal. This should be interesting. You know what to do, boy. It's over. So we got the crystal, we'll run back up, we'll go across the bridge, then we'll teleport back to Eastport. Shouldn't be too hard. Shouldn't take too much time. Just wanted to make sure I had these finished up before we moved. Uh, oh, no, it's right here. It's hard for me to tell for a second. <laughs> You found it! Oh, thank you! <laughs> Look at that.
Anything new here? No. Any longer out in the sun, and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Be more careful next time. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting my nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the catch to town. There was a time honest taxpaying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Can't now, though, not for love nor money. Wow. Crystals are scarce, and the Empire tightens its purse strings more every day. Lose this little beauty again, and I might as well scrap my nets and take to begging. All right, so we made a little bit more money too. It's interesting how like crystals are ne are like a basic commodity for regular people. You like need them for work. You don't know a man called Norris, do you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right all hurry. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to stay out after dark. He was making for the marshes then. All right. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> we just gotta go down. Can't hop down. I have to actually go down. Ah, uh, that's annoying. Oh. Well. That's fine. We'll go find him. It'll be all right. Yeah, I can't jump over. That's ah, annoying. There we go. All right, let's find Norris, right? But if he had a lantern, that means he was probably thinking about entering a cave. You can't go far. I better keep my eyes peeled. Look at that. Oh no, what happened to him? What happened to Norris? A lantern. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. At least I know which way he went. We already cleared out this area, didn't we? Someone made sure work of them. I wonder if that someone was Norris. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Bearers are powerful, so like... <laughs> why are people not afraid of them? I don't get it. They're like, oh, you don't trust a bear to do nothing. They're useless. It's like, no, they're not. What? Norris, I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close, I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. But it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. As one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. You know how they treat our kind. Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in bearers. She's a friend. You can trust her. Believe me. I never knew. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. And sorry. You're no Imperial dog. Far from it. I've been called worse. <laughs> oh, I found a lantern back there. I assume it's yours. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. But if I'm honest, I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Ron gave it to me. All right, I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. We're gonna have to like fabricate his death. 
<laughs> to have lived free for so many years, only to be betrayed by a friend. Why, Rod? After all these years, you, you were like a brother to me. We should just be able to teleport up back up to the rest. Save us some time. We love that. Oh, we fucked it up. There you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? Only what was left of him. A corpse. Torn apart by monsters. And this. Let me see that. No. It can't be. Shall we consider that the end of the matter then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I, I mean, I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Let that be an end to it. I only wish those whose job it was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Letting a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Who want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. Haha, <laughs> they were lovers. Is it true, Clive? Is Norris really. He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. He's expecting you. Oh, you crafty. Still, you did the right thing. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please, take this. All right, we did it. Quest complete. <laughs> All right, let's head back to Eastpool or whatever. East Wind. Is that what it was called? I can't remember. I just didn't want to let those quests go without getting uh, finished with them. East pool, gotcha. Just because that would have been bad for us. I don't think I'm gonna like fully 100% this game or anything, but good to make sure you're doing the quests that are marked in the map at the very least. It gives you a little bit more story, fleshes out the world a little bit. That's the general rule, right? If a game puts a side quest in, it's not really side content. It's content that's not necessarily what's gonna progress the story, but it is part of the overall narrative of the world and of the game, and more, most importantly, of how you're supposed to be interacting with it. Where are you off to then? Or hasn't your master told you? Either way, I expect our humble village and your final destination. Not to say it didn't have its charms. Take that tower. Relic of the Fallen it is. It must have stood there a thousand years. And oh. all that time, no one's ever been inside. Mysterious, eh? Kind of cool. Well met, friend. Go buy some more potions because I accidentally used some earlier. We'll just move forward. Gotta make for Phoenix Gate. Y you, those are Elwins. By the flames, you're his firstborn, Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. <laughs> You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. That's what I was saying. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers. Hmm. Uh, 
Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastport. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her. Uh, Annabella Sage, once Duchess of Rosaria, is now Empress of Sambrec, was granted stewardship of her former home in the title of Viserin, a role she embraced with sadistic relish, enacting a regime of crippling taxation and con constant surveillance, along with renewed persecution of the bearer population. Noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, Many who lost their masters fled here, in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brec. The duchy was dissolved, and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right, Lord Rosfield. Bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house and still consider the Rossfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Been daydreaming for too long. But mm -hmm. still, I would ask a favor of you. A small mercy. If it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't ask that you take him into your service. Only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives, and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. Find a man as my father. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. You this is what I was talking bearer, about, though. I spoke of over by the well. Introduce yourself. It will mean a lot. Like we're extremely conspicuous, wearing our father's clothes in a town where a bunch of people knows exactly who we are. This is highly dangerous behavior when we're trying to keep a low profile. He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. <laughs> oh my god, right, you sap. Let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Well, no. Unfamiliar faces. What brings you to East Ball, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, <laughs> in a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. It wasn't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions, the levies going up and up and up, even as the blight took half the harvest. 
Oh, listen to me. Telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer either. Though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day. Almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around then. Thank you. Hmm. Good day, milady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer. An elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'd often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream, he is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Vicerine stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? Vicerine. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the puff to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Hey, hold on a mo. Young Patrick, the chocobo keeper who might know where he is. He's taken the old bird under his wing, so to speak. He'll be in the stables. You should go and have a word with him. Patrick, the chocobo keeper. Thank you. We will. I wonder if we're going to reunite with our old uh, chocobo. Making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. I mean, we're doing a bad job of keeping a pretense walking around dressed like this, but okay. Mm, where the bloody hell's he got to? Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well, nor anywhere else in the village. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for, he's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. So that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the mayor, you're on about to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Understood. You keep searching here. We'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Let's just concentrate on finding him. He's just over there at the windmill. Probably nothing to be too worried about. <laughs> Still no sign. Could he have strayed even further? We're going to have to save him from something, I'm sure. Yeah, there he is. He's going to definitely be out here right on the edge of a cliff or something. Look. Yeah. <laughs> someone over there. It might be him. We should hurry. Company. Oh no! Oh my god. 
<laughs> they need to die. <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous. It's over. My wounds, boy. There we go. That was quick. Got through that real, real tight. I only got a few ability points, but we have a ton we can use. So look at that. Fighting all the enemies was, was worth it in the end. <laughs> it actually helped us. Are you all right, my friend? Come on. Let's go home. Your Grace, you came for me. I waited for you so long, but you finally came. I'm not who you think. Clive. <sighs> yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the Founder that you would come, and at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle, then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition, one which may take some time. Could you wait for me in Eastpool? Until my journey is complete, I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. You should have sent him back to the hideaway, Clive. Come on, man. They could use a cook. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's <laughs> nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half our worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad, I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damned near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time, regarding the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. <laughs> I'll be back anon. Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. <laughs>